And when they had fasted and prayed, and laid their hands on them, they sent them away. Acts 13 verse 3. Fasting and prayer work hand in hand with each other. You cannot fast without praying, otherwise you will simply be on a hunger strike. The point of fasting is to sacrifice earthly needs in order to focus more on communing with God. Prayer is how we commune with God during this time of fellowship. It is in these times we can receive visions, revelations of God's word, and a refreshed assurance in the goodness of God. Proverbs 10 verse 6 says blessings are upon the head of the just, but violence covert the mouth of the wicked. It is an ancient custom to cover the faces of people condemned to death. This tradition has carried over to modern day executions. This an example of violence covering the mouth of the wicked. Another way to look at this passage is to understand that the wicked have no excuse because shame has blocked their voice. This is yet another example the Bible gives us of the difference between how God handles the righteousness versus how he handles the wicked. He heaps blessing on the righteous, but the wicked have to endure their shame silently. Devotion topic is, follow me boy, are we just like the people in Jesus' day? We say we will follow Jesus, but we put it off with all kinds of excuses. I need to work, my kids are in sports, I'll do it when I'm older. I don't have time right now for you, Jesus, but the day will come when I will have time. Imagine how that works with our earthly relationships. There's an old song called Cats in the Cradle that talks about a father, who doesn't have time for his son while the son is growing up, and only realizes what he has done when he retires and the son now has no time for him. The good news is that Jesus will always have time for us no matter how long it takes for us to wake up and make room for him in our lives. But think of what we miss. We can miss years, or in some cases, a lifetime of knowing that Jesus has our back. He will always be there to help and guide us. His grace will be there to keep us from making some pretty terrible mistakes. All we need to do is follow him. In one of the classes we had this spring, the video instructor explained that the yoke that Jesus asks us to take for our own is not a burdensome piece of wood that keeps us tied to the plow, but, rather, a point of view. Jesus asks us to view life as he did, working for justice in communion with one another, always connected to the God who made us. Yes, it can be difficult at times because the world is always pulling us in all directions, but with the grace of God, we can do it. What has happened when you didn't follow Jesus? I know that in my life, that's when I was on my knees begging God to get me out of the mess I made. In the long run, life is actually easier when we give in. Let go of the- If you enjoy this video please like and comment telling us that you enjoy it. And remember to subscribe and turn on your notification bell that way you will not miss any of our videos.